I am so excited to start off a new module. That means we're gonna learn some new and exciting things. So we're gonna start it off with this brand new story. And this story, the title is, Elvin, the boy who loved the sky. So I want y'all to think about what might this story be about based on the title? Elvin the boy who loved the sky. Put those thinking fingers on, think about it. And when you think you have an answer to what this story might be about, I want you to put a thumb to your heart. So Elvin the boy who loved the sky, what do you think this story is going to be about? I see some thumbs that are ready to share. I see some folks are still thinking. We'll give them a few more seconds. All right, I see some more thumbs. All right, turn and tell your partner, what do you think this story is going to be about? Elvin, the boy who loved the sky. I think I'm going to be all right, so we're going to jump into our last part and let's see more about what Elvin is doing because now we're going to see those observations. Remember, so here's the thing about Elvin, right? He has so much curiosity about the sun and the moon. So let's see what else happens. One day, while the boy was wondering deeply about the sun and moon, he decided he must find someone with whom to share his wonderings. So he walked along until he found a photographer. And a photographer is someone who what? Takes pictures. He told the photographer all that he wondered, but the photographer did not answer his questions. Instead, she gave him something special. Do you want to see what she gave? So she, the photographer, printed out these amazing pictures. Because remember, a photographer takes pictures of things. This photographer took some special pictures and it connected to the wonders and the questions that Alvin had about the sun and the moon. So you're going to get your chance now to talk and do observations about the sun and the moon. And let's take a look at our learning target for the day. So our target says, I can describe what I observe in pictures and videos of the sun, moon, and stars. Wow, that is a big learning target that we have here. So I want us to zoom in on a very big word that we have here. And this word is pretty great because I know it's a word y'all know all about. This word is describe, right? And so you've done a lot of times where you've described, like maybe in our, remember in our last module when we were talking about um, our magnificent things and we had to describe the different tools and the way we worked with our partners? Well, this word describe, when I think about the word describe, I think about the way I might tell something. When you hear describe, what do you think about? How would I define the word describe? Let's think about it. How would I tell someone what describe might mean? Go ahead, my love. Describe means say, your, say the name. Yeah, like say the name, or maybe you might tell something. So if you were, for example, to describe my dress today, what might you say? What might you say about my dress? It's purple. It's purple. What else might you say? Right here. Oh, because we kind of match in our purple. What might you say? It has flowers. It has flowers. Our hands. 
So when you describe, you're telling what you see. So I'm going to put that right up here. Tell what you see. Okay? And then I can describe, right, tell what I see, what I observe. Here's the thing. Observe, describe, right? I, it kind of makes me think about the same things. When I observe something, you know what I do? I put on my magic goggles. Who can put on their magic goggles? And I zoom in to the thing I want to look at. And then I what? I observe it. I take a look at it. And then I describe what I see. Okay, so when I observe, and I'm going to draw my little glasses here to show you that that means, well, my glasses are uneven. I'm going to fix that. Add some eyes. Right? Add some eyes, but in my glasses. So when I observe, right, I tell the things that I see, right? Like I want to describe it. I zoom in, I look at it, and then I tell what I see. So we're going to do that today in pictures, in a video of the sun, moon, and stars. Are y'all ready to make your observations and describe what you see? All right, let's do it.